Hi everyone, this is Clint from Persuasive Evangelism and I'm sitting right next to this giant squirrel statue. Longview is known for its squirrels. We have squirrel bridges and so on and we have even have squirrel fests. But uh, today I'm going to go over um, the Chronicles of Narnia, the book called Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis. Um, it's the fifth book in the publication order, which I've been reviewing them. Uh, in the publication order because I like that's how I like to read them uh, a lot of the collections now put them in chronological order uh, so either way it's they're great reads um, so the horse and the boy the horse and his boy um, actually the first four books in publication order are in chronological order but horse and his boy is when it changes uh, so the horse and the boy takes place in the time of the ver the first book the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe at the very end of that book when the White Witch is destroyed and Peter, Lucy, um, Edmund, and uh, Susan become the kings and queens of Narnia and it's during that reign at the very end of the book um, that this book takes place. The Horse and the Boy growing up was my least favorite book in Narnia. Um, I think because it takes place in this this. It takes place in the far south and on this empire, this desert empire. It's probably more like, takes um, similar to Babylon or ancient Persia or something. But most of the magic and fantasy elements of the books aren't in this one. So that's probably why I didn't like it. But reading it as an adult, I've read it a couple times and I listened to it, the audio book of it um, in LA when I was on my commute. And I actually really like this book now. So has a lot of great stuff in it so the main the I guess the main character in the books is Aslan which is the Jesus type character in the book so that's where you get a lot of the you know similarities of you know Jesus and Christianity so the 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 book takes place in the far south in the I don't know how to pronounce it Colorman Empire um, and this boy who, this orphan boy who lives with this fisherman, um, his name's Shasta, and he wants to run away, and um, he, there's this horse called um, Bree, and the horse starts talking, and he says, in the, because, and he says that he's from Narnia, and he was captured as a, when he was young, and he's, he wants to try to get back to Narnia too, so they decide to head off to Narnia, because in Narnia the animals can talk and so on, so they start heading north towards Narnia, and, um, they start, they see another horse with this other person on it in the distance, and all of a sudden they hear a lion roar, so they start heading towards the other horse, but the other horse runs the opposite direction, but then they hear a roar in the opposite direction, and then, so they keep hearing the roars, and it brings both of the two horses together with the people on it, and then they meet uh, this other, um, the other horse, Highwind, which is also a horse from Narnia that was captured and is trying to head north, and the the girl on the horse, um, is, her name is Aravis, and she's she's from Kellerman um, and um, her family's gonna it's like arranged marriages marry her off to this cruel man so he, she drugged the her the slave lady that was watching over her and is trying to escape so they're they all want to head to Narnia so they go on these adventures they learn that um, that empire is going to invade Narnia uh, so they want to go to Narnia and warn them um, so at one point Shasta is alone in these tombs and um, you know it's kind of scared and feel sad and this cat comes up to him and just sits and comforts him and then he falls asleep and he hears like these jackals and stuff and he sees a lion get, uh, scaring off the jackals and so on and then they start heading they start getting almost to Narnia and they see the that army of the empires getting closer and closer um, so they're running out of time so this lion appears in the back and scared like roars at him and chases them and it makes the horses go any every fast even faster so this lion and cat keeps appearing through the story and then near the end um shasta is by himself and um so i'll read this part uh, this is probably the heart of the story um he got uh shasta's feeling sorry for himself and all um 
And it says Shasta discovered that someone or somebody was walking besides, beside him. It was pitch dark and he could see nothing. And the thing or person was going so quietly that he could hardly hear any footfalls. What he could hear was breathing. His invisible companion seemed to breathe on a very large scale and Chasta got the impression that it was a very large creature. And he had come to notice that this breathing so gradually that he really, he really had no idea how long it had been there. It was a horrible shock. The thing or person went along beside him so very quietly that Shasta began to hope he only imagined it. But just as he was becoming quite sure of it, there suddenly came a di deep, rich sigh out of the darkness beside him. And he goes, who are you? He said, scared, scarcely above a whisper. One who has waited long for you to speak, said the thing. Its voice was not loud, but very large and deep. Are you, are you a giant, asked Shasta. You might call me a giant, said the large voice, but I am not like the creatures you call giants. I can't see you at all, said Shasta, staring very hard. You're not, you're not something dead, are you? Oh, please, please do go away. What harm have I ever done you? Oh, I'm the unluckiest person in the whole world. Once more, he felt the warm breath of the thing on his hand and face. There, it said, that is not the breath of a ghost. Tell me your sorrows. And then Shasta start, I'll skip this part, but Shasta starts telling him of all the bad things that have been happening to him. And then, I do not call you unfortunate, said the large voice. Don't you think it was bad luck to meet so many lions, said Shasta. There was only one lion, said the voice. What on earth do you mean? I've just told you that there were at least two the first night and there was only one, but he was swift of foot. How do you know? I was the lion. And as Shasta gasped with open mouth and said nothing, the voice continued. I was the lion who forced you to join with Aravis. I was the cat who comforted you among the houses of the dead. I was the lion who drove the jackals from you while you slept. I was the lion who gave the horses the new strength of fear for the last mile so that you should reach King Loon in time. And I was the lion you do not remember who pushed the boat in which you lay as a, a child near death so that it came to shore where a man sat wakeful at midnight to receive you. Then it was you who wounded Aravis? It was I. But what for, child, said the voice. I am telling you your story, not hers. I tell no one any story but his own. His own. So, um, so uh, we find out um, Aslan was with him the whole time and uh, help, helping, guiding him. Um, so it's kind of like similar to Jesus where wherever you're at in the world, um, Jesus can lead you to him. You just have to um, listen to him, call out to him, and um, you'll find out Jesus was there the whole time waiting for you. Um, and I kind of see, and it, so it shows like Jesus is kind of guiding him through the life to get him to the right destination. Um, just in my own life, I, looking back how I came back to Christ, you know, Jesus put certain people in my life where it guided me back to him. So I thought that was really interesting. I like how he said, you know, it's only your story he tells you about, not anyone else's story. So, you know, we all have a story with Christ. Do we accept him, reject him, and so on. But I really like this book, um, The Horse and the Boy by C.S. Lewis. So everyone take care and God bless. And I'll let you see the squirrel again. There was actually another a live squirrel running around here. But I guess this statue um, would fit in Narnia because all of the talking animals. All right, take care, everyone. God bless.